I've said it once and I'll say it again. Sometimes the truth is much stranger than fiction. My training officer, Skip Atwater, would come in from the project and test me to see whether or not my remote viewing was getting any better. And one of his tests that he brought, one of the training tests that he brought, was a target that I didn't know anything about. I, normally I did mundane targets, like quasi-military targets. Well, this particular week, he brought a Mars target. I didn't know it was a Mars target. But he gave, gave a sealed envelope needed to Bob Monroe. He this is Joseph McMonagall. He practices remote viewing. He was recruited for a classified government program known as the Stargate Project. Joseph had a very interesting remote viewing experience that took him to another world. Now this Freedom of Information Act file corroborates his story. The sealed envelope was given to the subject immediately prior to the interview. The envelope was not opened until after the interview. In the envelope was a 3x5 card with the following information. The planet Mars. Time of interest approximately 1 million years BC. Selected geographic coordinates provided by the parties requesting the information were verbally given to the subject during the interview. Alright now, using the information in the envelope I provided, exclusively focusing your attention now, using the information in the envelope, focus on 40.89 degrees north. 9.55 degrees west. I want to say it looks like, uh, I don't know. It sort of looks, I kind of got an oblique view of a, a pyramid or a pyramid form. It's very high. It's kind of sitting in a large depressed area. All right. It's yellowish and uh, ochre colored. All right. Move in time to the time indicated in the envelope I provided you and describe what's happening. I'm tracking severe, uh, severe clouds, more like a dust storm. Uh, it's a geological problem. It seems to be like, uh, just a minute. I've got to iron this out. It's really weird. Just report your raw perceptions at this time. You're still early in the session. I'm looking at a, at a after effect of a major geological problem. Okay, go back to the time before the geological problem. Um, total difference. It's uh, before there's no, uh, uh, I don't know, oh hell. It's like mountains of dirt appear and then disappear. When you go before, see uh, large flat surfaces, very uh, smooth angles, walls. They're really large though. I mean, they're megalithic. Uh, All right, at this period in time, now before the geological activity, look around, in and around this area, and see if you can find any activity. I'm seeing, uh, it's like a perception of a shadow of people, very tall, thin. It's only a shadow. It's as if they were there and they're not, not there anymore. Go back to a period of time where they are there. Um, oh God. It's like I get a lot of static on a line and everything. It's, it's breaking up all the time. Very fragmentary pieces. Just report the raw data. Don't try to put things together. Just report the raw data. I just keep seeing very large people. They appear thin and tall, but they're very large. Uh, wearing some kind of strange clothes. All right, now holding in this time period, Holding in this time period, I want to move from your physical location in space to another physical location. But in this time period, move now to 46.45 north, 
353.22 East. Deep inside of a cavern. Uh, not a cavern, more like a canyon. Um, I'm looking up, up the sides of a steep wall that seemed to go on forever. And there's like a, a structure with a, it's like the wall of the canyon itself has been carved. Again, I'm getting a very large structures. No, uh, no. Intricacies. Huge sections of smooth stone. Do the structures have insides and outsides? Yes. They're very, it's like a rabbit worn. Corners of rooms. They're really huge. I don't feel like I'm standing in one. It's just really huge. Perception is that the ceiling is very high. Walls very wide. Yes, that would be correct. All right. I'd like to move now to another location nearby. All right. Move from this point in this time to 45.86 north, 354.1 east. They have a, appears to be the end of a very large road, and there's a, a marker thing that's very large keep getting Washington Monument overlay. It's like an obelisk. Alright. From this point then, let us move to another point. Move now to 35.26 north, 213.24 east. Move in this time to 35.26 north, 213.24 east. It's like I'm um, in the middle of a huge circular basin of the range of mountains by almost all the way around. Very ragged, ragged mountains, very tall. Basins, very, very, very large. Scale seems to be off or something. It's just really big. Everything's big. I understand the problem. Just continue. See, just a right angle corner to something, but that's all. I don't see anything else. Okay, then let's move into a little different place very close. Move from the point you are now, in this time, to 34.6 north, to 13.09 east. Move now in this time to 34.6 north, to 13.09 east. The cluster of squares up and down. Um, it's like you want to make them square anyway. They're almost flushed with the ground and it's like they're connected. Something very white, or reflects light. What's your position of observation as you look at this thing that reflects light? I'm amid a, an oblique left angle. Sun is, uh, sun is weird. Look back down at the ground now. And we're gonna move just a little bit from this place, just a little bit from this place. 34.57 north, 212.22 east. Very close by. Now, move over now to 34.57 north, 212.22 east. It's like I can just perceive a, a, like a radiating pattern of some kind. It's like some really uh, strange intersecting kind of roads that are dug into valleys, you know? Where a road is just a little below the edge. Tell me about the shapes of these things. They're like real neat channels cut. They're very deep. It's like the road went down. Okay. Now I have. I notice electrically you're nulled out a little bit and I want you to stay deep and recapture your focus here. It's really tough. It seems like it's just always very sporadic. I realize that. It's very important that you maintain your focus. I have a movement exercise again for you and this is some considerable distance away. So holding the focus in time, remember the focus in time you had before, and moving now to 15 degrees north, 198 degrees east. Take some time and get back deep. Um, intersecting uh, whatever these are, are aqueduct type things. These rounded bottom carved channels like roadbeds, see uh... See, pointed tops of something on the horizon. Even the horizon looks funny and weird. It's like, uh, different, misty. Like it's really far away, very vague. Okay, another movement now to 80 degrees south, 
80 degrees south, 64 degrees east, 64 degrees east. Move now in this time to 80 degrees south, 64 degrees east. I see pyramids. Can't tell if it's overlay or not because they're different. Okay. Do these pyramids have insides and outsides? Mm-hmm. They got both, and they're huge. It's really a... Uh, it's an interesting perception I'm getting. It's filtered from storms or something. Say that again? They're like shelters from storms. These structures you're seeing? Yes. They're designed for that. All right. Go inside one of these and find some activity to tell me about. Different chambers, but they're almost stripped of any kind of furnishings or anything. It's like a strictly functional place for sleeping, or that's not a good word. Hibernations, some form. I can't. I get real raw inputs. Storms, savage storm, and sleeping through storms. Tell me about the ones who sleep through the storms. Uh, very tall, again. Very large people, but they're thin. They look thin because of their height. And they dress like in... Oh, hell. It's like a real light silk, but it's not flowing type of clothing. It's like cut to fit. Move close to one of them and ask them to tell you about themselves. They're ancient people. They're, uh... They're dying. It's past their time or age. Tell me about this. They're very philosophic about it. They're looking for a, a way to survive, and they just can't. They can't seem to get their way out. They can't seem to find their way out. So they're hanging on while they look or wait for something to return or something coming with the answer. What is it they're waiting for? There uh, evidently was a group, a party of them, that went to find a new place to live. It's like I'm getting all kinds of overwhelming input of the corruption of their environment. It's failing very rapidly, and this group went somewhere like a long way to find another place to live. What was the cause of this atmospheric disturbance or the environment disturbance? I see a picture of a picture of, uh, oh hell, it's almost a warp in a, oh god, this is difficult. It's like going, let's see. The raw data. Oh, I get a globe. Uh, it's like a globe that goes through a comet's tail or it's through a river or something, but it's all very cosmic. It's like space pictures. All right. Now, before you leave this individual, ask him if there's any way that you ask him if he knows who you are and is there any way you can help him in his present predicament all i get is that they must just wait doesn't know who i am i think he perceives i'm a hallucination or something okay when the others left these people are waiting when the others left how did they go i get an impression of uh i don't know what the hell it is it looks like the inside of a large boat very rounded walls and shiny metal. Go along with them on their journey and find out where it is they go. Impression of a really crazy place with volcanoes and gas pockets and strange plants. Very volatile place. It's very much like going from the frying pan into the fire. The difference is that there seems to be a lot of vegetation where the other place did not have it. And a different kind of storm. All right, it's time to come back now to the sound of my voice into present time, to right now, the 22nd of May, 1984, the sound of my voice. Move now back to the room, back to the sound of my voice, back further now to the sound of my voice on the 22nd of May, 1984. End of interview.